Hi, I'm Brooklyn Gray, and I am Holly Randall's bombshell of the month. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is that I have three cats. I love my cats. Their names are Aurora, Elsie, and Zuko. I spend a lot of time with them, snuggling them, all that fun stuff. I love to paint. I like to dance. I like to hula hoop. I like to be outside. I like to hike. I really like to thrift shop, but I think every basic bitch likes to thrift shop, so there's that. I've always wanted to learn how to figure skate and I've always wished that I figure skated and I can sort of ice skate, but no figure skating. I used to be afraid of the dark. I'm not really afraid of the dark anymore. I could never do something like Universal Halloween Horror Nights. I'm not good with like startling stuff like that, but um, I generally don't like super scary things. I, I don't like the adrenaline rush of that and I don't like to feel scared, but I don't know that there's any one thing that I'm scared of. I think it's just scary experiences in general that I don't like. I have been particularly obsessed with Zoe Kravitz lately. I think she's extremely sexy. Um, Ariana Grande is like my favorite person in the entire world. I love her. Don't want to perform with her. I just think that she's this beautiful, pure creature. She's a cancer and I love her energy. I would love to have dinner with her. I also really love Billie Eilish. My one, actually my two male celebrity crushes, Zac Efron, the last pure male on the planet. Love him. And I've always had a thing for Zach Galifianakis. In general, I have to really vibe with someone's energy. I have to feel a good sense of connection. And I feel like if I can make constant eye contact with somebody and I feel comfortable with them, I generally like can ease into it. I like somebody who makes me laugh. Um, I'm a very weird person and I'm <laughs> in the best way possible, I'm <laughs> very hard to deal with. And so I need someone who balances me and, and compliments my energy because I'm very, I'm very loud and over the top and I express myself in a very flamboyant way all of the time and I need someone who can level me and who can deal with that and who's not embarrassed by me in public spaces. Um, and if you're into theater, bonus, if we can sing show tunes together, uh, uh, chef's kiss. I like exuberant people. I like when you're maybe not your ordinary person on the street. Um, I want you to be unique and fascinating and I'm very snuggly. I, I like a lot of affection. Um, yeah, I could think of a million things, but I think that's a good basis. First of all, Build-A-Bear workshop. I've been asking someone to take me to Build-A-Bear for so long and no one will do it. So like Build-A-Bear AF. I would love to go see a show with somebody. Like live theater is totally my jam. And if I if I can like, obviously if I'm gonna go on a date with someone, they would appreciate live theater as well. And I would love to share that experience with somebody. And one of my favorite things about dates is not necessarily a particular place or activity, but one of my favorite, favorite, favorite dates is when my partner shows me something that they really love and something that they're passionate about and that lights them up. That's my favorite thing. If I was a kitchen appliance, I was actually thinking about this on the way here, so this isn't like off the top of my head, but I think I would be a blender because they're very loud and they fuck shit up. I find that different things inspire me in different 
outlets and in different ways. I am particularly inspired by other artists that I follow on social media. I like, I really like unique and, and bright colored art and I like artists who um, utilize those things. In terms of my art, I'm very inspired by stark juxtaposition and bright colors and patterns. I love people watching because the way that people dress inspires me. I really like the fashion. In Los Angeles, there's like every kind of person and in different neighborhoods, people dress very differently. So I like to, I like to check people out, see what inspires them. I'm inspired by the people that I meet and the things that they like to do and, and who they are as a person. I find that I'm very inspired by energy and um, new experiences. First of all, I'm gonna be a business bitch. Can I get an amen in the house? Um, one thing that I'm really inspired by right now is female reproductive care and not necessarily female, like general vagina owning humans. I really want to create uh, a lot of feminine care products and vagina care products and I hope to start a whole business on that endeavor and expand that into merchandise, social media, and just create awareness for vaginal health and normalize it and to get rid of the stigma there. I also want to expand into some sort of clothing line. I want to get into some merch, but not only merch for me, like obviously I want to put myself on a t-shirt because who doesn't want to put themselves on a t-shirt, but I want to design my own clothes at some point. And I also want to create my own content website that is something that I'm passionate about and I can't share too many details on that, um, but, an eye out. The first time I worked with Holly was for Twisties and it was for a site called Girl Crush. And I had never met Holly before. And actually, normally for Girl Crush, they ask you who you want to work with and like it's someone that you have a crush on. And I remember getting called in for the shoot and the girl who requested me I had no idea who she was and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going into a site where I'm supposed to know something about this person and have a crush on this person and I didn't know anything about her and it was Jenna Fox, if you know who she is, but we're actually really close friends now. So I had a really, really great day. Holly was so easy to work with and she paired me with someone who I ended up having really great chemistry with and she interviewed me and I, she's very easy to talk to. I love her personality and she's fun. Like her sets are super fun. She's not like your normal run of the mill director. She's, I like working with female directors period. So that was really great. And then she's a really interesting and intelligent person to talk to. I love being on her sets and working with her. My favorite part and my least favorite part of this industry. My favorite part of this industry is that, I say this with so much love in the best way possible, it's sort of like the land of the misfit toys. I meet so many different people from so many different diverse walks of life. I have met some of the most intelligent, creative, um, special people in this industry and I love who who I meet and I love the things that I learn from them. My least favorite part of this industry is probably looking at myself all the time. It's, it's fun to feel hot and sexy and fabulous and I totally feel hot and sexy and fabulous a lot of the time. That's a plus, but I'm constantly seeing pictures of myself and I'm constantly having to make sure that I look good and I look perfect and nobody can look perfect, but it's this constant pressure to look perfect and to perform perfectly. And I'm a huge self critic as I'm sure we all are. And I think the hardest part is just dealing with balancing my criticism with keeping my confidence up. Cause that's, you have to 
have a certain level of confidence to do this and it's important to find that balance and I think that's probably the hardest and my least favorite part. I've seen a lot of bios of me on different sites and in different magazines and for some reason they're like all wrong so don't trust what you read on the internet about me but just to debunk some myths I am a Pisces my birthday is March 15th I am originally from Miami Florida um, I used to do theater as you probably got from this conversation before i got into the industry i did some modeling acting and i did live audio engineering for a while and that was pretty dope um i've lived in florida i've lived in chicago and one of my favorite places in the world is new york my name is brooklyn so you know that's where that comes from if you have any questions about me shoot me a dm message me whatever ask me on twitter ask me on instagram because i love getting to know my fans and i like it when my fans get to know me thank you so much for having me i'm so stoked to be bombshell of the month this is like a huge honor and i kind of got to collaborate on my looks which is super fun and obviously right now i'm dressed in a lot of colors and i don't know if there's a bunch of candy on the floor here because I did a super sweet sexy candy look because I am sweet as sugar and my second look I have not gotten there yet but there is a black patterned room right to the left of me and I'm gonna do a caution tape inspired look with chains obviously real caution tape and lots of it honey basically the whole idea is that I am a health hazard and let me tell you that is true Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun being here. You asked me some really fun questions that people don't normally ask me. I'm definitely gonna check out the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel because if it was as fun and funky as this video, the rest of them must be pretty dope. Check them out. Um, subscribe, check out the content on Holly Randall's site, which is where all of this is going to be and all of that is going to be. It's definitely something you're not going to want to miss. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Or should I say, ciao. <laughs> I'm Brooklyn Gray and I am Holly Randall's bombshell of the month.